Hello everyone, this is Shaira Lina Gitong and for today's video, I am going to share with you the learnings that I had gained based on the lessons that we had in Chapter 1, which is all about summative assessment, planning, and implementing classroom tests. So let us define first what is summative assessment. Summative assessments are used primarily to document the student's performance. It is also used to monitor and record the student's proficiency for accountability and evidence of the student learning to evaluate teachers. So basically, classroom summative assessments are taken after an instructional unit. It is said that poorly prepared summative assessments tend to discourage the student's involvement, promote extrinsic motivation, and emphasize testing of knowledge. While the well-planned summative assessments consist of representative sampling of learning targets, appropriate number of items, and skeptical use of items provided. Students should also be prepared for taking summative tests by having adequate test taking and test wiseness skills. Knowledge of the format and types of the, of the questions and the adequate review of the material. Now here are the checklists for preparing the students for classroom summative assessment. First, teach assessment taking and test wiseness skills. Second, familiarize students with the test length, format, and types of questions. Third, teach to the test. Do not teach the test. Fourth, share the assessment blueprint. Fifth, review before the assessment. Sixth, tell the students when the assessment is scheduled and how long it will be to take. And the seventh and the last one, make sure that students have the technical skills needed to be proficient with digitally administered tests. Now let's have the examples of summative assessment test. We have the chapter test. Chapter tests provide a formative assessment tool for educators to measure chapter concept mastery and allow students to review the chapter materials prior to an in-class chapter test developed by the educator. This test can be found at the end of every chapter in the textbooks. Then we have the unit test. Unit test is a test at the end of teaching unit. This is usually held based on the entire syllabus. A unit test is not a random assessment questions. It is pre-planned, systematic, and scientific test. Now here are the steps for setting up a unit test. First, planning the unit test. Second, editing the unit test. Third, reviewing the question paper. Fourth, administering the test. Fifth, interpret the test results. And sixth, and the last one, statistical treatment. Then we have the semester test. Semester test is a test given to the students at the end of every semester of a course of study or training. It is a time for examination and reports on the student's progress. So summative assessment is an assessment administered at the end of an instructional unit in a course. These assessments are intended to evaluate the student's learning by comparing performance to a standard or a benchmark. So to sum up everything that has been stated, summative assessments provide a cumulative snapshots to evaluate and report the student's learning. So those are the important informations that we always have to remember, especially for planning and implementing a summative assessments in a classroom. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you've learned something in this video. Stay safe everyone and have a good day.